Renting a car for free? Most people would call you crazy, but that is the future of driving if Robert Llewellyn gets his way. I mean, in theory, if you can, if you can <laughs> set aside the fact that you had to pay for it all to be installed, then you could, on a, on, a, on a good, clear, sunny day in this country, you could charge that car for nothing. You could drive 100 miles for absolutely nothing, yes. He's backing the latest electric car, the Nissan LEAF, and is also promoting the installation of solar panels in your home to help charge them. So there's solar panels fitted on the roof of my house, which generate electricity. Uh, well, or, you know, during daylight hours, which is now when I'm going to plug the car in, because then that's taking the most benefit from that. So the, the electricity is going effectively from the solar panels into the national grid, which is, uh, you know, in, increasing the amount of electricity in the national grid, and some of that is going into my car. But don't think we'll be a petrol-free world anytime soon. I mean, everybody that works in the automotive industry knows that this is what will happen. So it might take 20 years, but in 20 years' time, there'll be people who are passionate about petrol vehicles that will have them as a sort of hobby and because they're fantastic and they make a lot of noise and they're loud and they make you know or they're very dramatic but 99% of people will be driving electric cars it's more efficient they're more efficient they're cleaner they're quieter the technology is such a big step forward uh, for for for, trans, for mass transportation so i think all buses and trucks and everything will be electric in within you know the next 20 25 years it's not going to be overnight it'll take a while for it to change Research shows that by 2020, around 10% of UK households are expected to own an electric vehicle.